Hi there, it's Sue Stapp with you to show you the newest paper pumpkin I received in the mail. And this is the April 2024, and it's called Delicate Wings. So let me open this and we can go through the contents. What I typically do is I do the prepared cards as they have suggested and then I do some alternative ones for you. So you can get some ideas of other ways you can use the materials in the kit. Now this kit comes once a month. It's delivered right to my door. The cost is around $25 and it includes a stamp set every month and a stamp and spot, which is our little mini stamp pad. And this month the, the color is basic gray and the stamp set is butterflies let me see if they gave us a copy of the stamp set what it looks like otherwise i'll put a piece of paper behind it so you can see it um, they give you an instruction page and lots of goodies now what i like to do like i said is i create alternative cards with the products and I like to use every piece of the product, including the paper and the envelopes. You can see these envelopes have beautiful gold butterflies on the tab. Let's see what this looks like on the inside. Oh, this is the outside. So the outside tab is the gold foil in butterflies. How pretty is that? Um, this is dimensionals. This is the self-adhesive uh, that adds height to the items that you put on the card. And let's see if I can find the list of... Oh, here they are. They've been including these lately, and I think it's a great idea. This is actually what the stamp set includes. There's a flying butterfly, and then there's one from a profile. It says, Sending Loving Thoughts Your Way. And then it says, everything will be okay and surrounding you with love. So that's the stamp set for April, 2024. And the kit contains supplies to make nine cards and nine envelopes. And what I'm using is those contents. Now here you can see what they're showing. They're showing three different cards, three of each. And those are very pretty. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. But I will show you the cards made up and then I'll show you the alternatives whenever I come back with you. This is some of the paper. These are some punch outs, butterflies. Oh, lots of metallics. Oh, how pretty is that? That champagne color, I just love it. And then we have butterflies there. So like I say, everything is included. I mean, you could literally take this box with you and prepare the cards on the go. I mean, at your son's baseball game or your daughter's volleyball game or uh, whatever you choose. And there's a lot more of the punch outs and tags for the sentiments. These are all different sizes and we have some pink and some green some gray and some of the new off-white so these are the glue dots and these are double-sided adhesive for you to glue items on your cards and this is a tear and tape and this is a tape that we use um, for larger sections and I'll show you how that's used whenever we come back Thanks for joining me today. I'll have some of those alternatives for you shortly and look forward to getting back with you. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. My 24-hour store is suestap.stampinup.net. My email is suestap1 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. And for now, happy stamping. Hi there, it's Sue Stapp again. I'm back with you going over the April 2024 Paper Pumpkin. And this is a beautiful kit. It's called Delicate Wings. And these are the cards that were made with the kit. And there's nine cards, three of each design, 
and beautiful envelopes with the gold foil butterflies on the flap. So let me show you those three cards and then I'll show you the alternatives that I came up with. I thought this was just so sweet. Got a little thing flying around here. Surrounding you with love and the script on this is so nice. Now this is using the basic gray stampin' spot that we got in the kit. And the second one is very elegant. It says, I'm always here for you. And it has the gold behind the butterfly cutout and then the gold foil butterflies on the basic gray background. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this one uses um, three butterflies, the big one, the medium one, and the one that's uh, in flight. And it says, everything will be okay. And this has the gold foil dots on it. And then there's a piece that has a uh, background the same color of the envelopes and the uh, gold foil on it also. So a lot of bling bling on this set. And so that's the three that are in the set. Now you can make three of each of those if you choose, or you can do alternative ones. And what I do whenever I get the kit is I just kind of look at the stamp sets and think about what comes to mind. So I have 10 or 11 different ones, maybe 12. <laughs> and what I did was I got out a piece of basic gray cardstock. And this is our basic gray. And this is the Lost Lagoon. And I used a half a sheet of each on these different uh, alternative options. So, and if you have questions on how I did these, I'm gonna go through them fast. I'm not gonna show you step-by-step uh, -step making them because they're pretty simple cards. I like to do simple, but with a little bling. <laughs> so the first one is I have that corner piece and I cut one of the sentiment uh, shapes out, cut it in half and stamped it with everything will be okay. And I just took scraps of the different papers. I used two of the gold and I background stamped it with the Lost Lagoon in the butterflies that's in the stamp kit, uh, in the, yeah, in the paper pumpkin this month. And then this one I thought was a nice way to show the uh, gold foil as the premier item on it. And I put two butterflies on each spot. So a total of four, a medium and a small. And this just says, I stamped this surrounding you with love. And again, that's in the basic gray ink pad. And this one, I cut one of the uh, gold pieces out. And I'll, I'll show you something that you wanna try not to do. Um, the gold foil, if you get glue on it where you don't want it, and I had some on my fingers, and just that little bit on my fingers makes this area here that shows up. So whenever you're using a foil or laminate like this, you want to try and keep the glue on the back of it and not on the front. <laughs> so this one says everything will be okay, and that's the other half of that sentiment strip that I was talking about. And this one, I used the Lost Lagoon background with the gold butterflies, and I put the big butterfly on here. And I did not put a sentiment on this one, so I'm gonna save this one. Um, there's not any happy birthday sentiments in this set, and I thought everything was in a supportive nature, but not necessarily an event. So I'm gonna do some of these for different events, like congratulations, happy birthday, happy anniversary, you know, all those good time events that we have. So that's um, the next one. And this one I took that cut out and that's on the, uh, oh, I can't even think of name, this color, <laughs> the envelope color, I'll call it that. And where this was on this, at I'm Always Here For You. I cut that off and I raised that up with the dimensionals that were in the kit. And then I put three of the butterflies that coordinate that. And I think it's a good look too. Now this one, I went a little fancy. I got a uh, one of the cutouts from one of the dies. 
uh, and I use the surrounding you with love and I put it on the gold foil butterfly paper on the front. And this was what I had cut out of that page. And it's the contoured scalloped edge. And then I have the two gold accented butterflies and then one of the Lost Lagoon. And it says, sending loving thoughts your way. And that's my favorite sentiment in this set, I think. Um, just, I like positive reinforcements in my sentiments, I guess. So this one, I took some gold. Whoops, there goes my bone folder. <laughs> some gold twine that I had left over from a kit and I put it around the back of the basic gray and I cut the polka dotted uh, gold flecks into six pieces squares and then I put one gold butterfly on there. So lots of gold accents on that one. And this one I used a scrap of paper that I had and I'm not I think it's crushed curry, not 100% sure because it was in my scrap pile. But I cut the big butterfly in half and put one here and one here. And then I put the sentiment strips this way to have a different direction going. And I think it makes the eye follow around the whole card. So we have the little butterflies and the two halves of the big butterflies. And then I guess I have more than 12. I've got a lot. <laughs> so I decided to put white cardstock behind here and I sponged it with um, some green and some, uh, what was that? That was pumpkin pie, I believe. But I put that on the front of this card. And this one I used the basic gray with the butterflies and this is some of that gold thread again that I put on here it says sending thoughts your way and then this was the other one it says everything will be okay and the white piece with the gold around it and the two butterflies that is pre-stamped in your kit I just added the sentiment and this strip of butterfly here to coordinate with the basic gray on the edge so that, that includes all of my alternatives for you today and the originals. So you can see we got a lot of butterflies here. Who doesn't like a lot of butterflies? These are the stamp sets um, that came in the set. I still have those and you can use those for anything you want. I didn't use the little butterfly. I didn't use the dots. I think I used all three sentiments and I used the big butterfly. So this stays your possession. You can use it however you like in the future. And of course the stamp and spot. Now I save these, I use my basic full size stamp pads and I save these and get them, give them out as prizes at my various functions. I still have some dimensionals left, and I have all nine envelopes. Now, typically I'll use part of the envelopes, the flap here especially. I didn't even go into that this time, so I have all of those. And I still have a little pile of goodies from this. I didn't use my tear and tape. These are the glue dots I didn't use. And this is just some of the things that, you know, I didn't use and can use for different cards. So I still have the possibility I'll make probably five or six more cards with this. So a lot of materials that come to you directly to your home for about $25 a month. And you can subscribe at any point. Now, in order to get the next month's issue though you have to subscribe before the 10th of the month so if you want the june issue you need to subscribe before the 10th of june and the june issue is going to be a father's day card or series of cards and so if you don't have that in your uh, stash and want to add that um, by all means it's, the paper pumpkin is a great deal. I'm a demonstrator and I get one every month just because I like 
doing the videos. I like coming up with alternatives that create challenges my creativity. And that's always a good thing, especially as you age, to have something like this uh, to keep me busy and to uh, keep the creative juices flowing, I think uh, is a good thing. So why don't you join me? It's a lot of fun and you'll get special prizes. Um, my Stampin' Up! Uh, people who subscribe to Paper Pumpkin uh, get special prizes and I send those out periodically. And um, I think that includes everything for this month. So thanks for joining me in this video and happy stampin'. If you need any further information, you can reach me at my website, which is a 24 seven store. That's suestamp.stampinup.net. Or you can email me at suestamp, the number one, at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. And if you already get Paper Pumpkin, let me see some of your alternatives. I think that would be a fun exchange. And uh, again, I'd love to hear from you. Take care and happy stamping.